Hey guys, so there's an exciting new model coming out from Segmind and these are a, a team we've covered before, I think with their Vega model. This is not exactly stable diffusion in the way we know it is a little bit different and there are three models we can work with. So the first one I'm going to look at is a Segmo 2x1. This is actually two SDXL what they call two expert SDXL models. And it's a way of combining different models from SDXL to produce results like this here. Now, there's currently no way of actually using this inside of Comfy UI or Automatic 11.11, but you can use the code to create your own workflow. And that, that's what I've done. And you've got some examples here where they've created some interesting workflows. Now, the uh, project has got its own page on uh, GitHub. And this is where the library is. Uh, the claims we made here, quite interesting. Once installed, you can create multiple, it's hard to explain, but essentially you have more than one model going into, uh, in, into the same process. So you can choose two models, four models. Here you've got the experiment here with, I think this is SDXL and the new combined models. And you can see that uh, the claim here is that the three green glass bottles prompt is somewhat better adhered to with the new method. Whereas with the old method, with the standard method, it's producing four bottles. You'll be able to see the results that I got a, a little bit later. And then they've got a uh, panda bear with aviator glasses on its head. And you can see with SDXL standard, it covers the eyes here, it's more like on his head, it's more like a pair of goggles and there are other examples here. Now, uh, like I said, at the moment, there aren't any custom nodes or uh, extensions for automatic, but I did take a look at how it works using my own workflow and I'll show you the results that I got. So first of all, we're looking at SDXL. No, we're looking at SD 1.5. There's an option where you download a workflow that allows you to put together four stable diffusion 1.5 models and these were the results you'll see them here 1024 by 1024 so quite a lot larger than the usual standard uh, stable diffusion 1.5 model here we're looking at a girl we're looking at some bokeh we're looking at uh, she's a beautiful girl. What, what I found interesting was that there was these lights that it put into the foreground and we always had these lights in the foreground. We are dealing with 1024 by 1024. Uh, but here we go back to 512 by 512. And here I'm using the three green bottles prompt and you can see it counted the number of bottles correctly. Here they're at sunset. Again at sunset. So you can see it seems to have better, it seems to be slightly better at holding the prompt where you've got numbers in the prompt. This was the panda wearing aviator glasses on its head and was definitely got a panda there, but I kept getting this girl coming up in all of the renders. And these were, these were the worst results that I got. Uh, no, actually, this was the worst one. This is a woman in red lipstick smiling at a man in blue glasses or blue reflector glasses or more precisely blue mirrored glasses, mirrored sunglasses. At 512 by 512, you can see it's done its best to try. <laughs> We've got the blue uh, sunglasses there and it always tried to put in the, 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 the sunglasses, but it didn't always manage to to, we didn't have a male, so we're supposed to have a female in red lipstick and then a male in the colored glasses, in the colored blue glasses. And this was the closest that it got. <laughs> Remember, we're dealing with stable diffusion 1.5, standard four models. This was the most successful one that I got with the ST 1.5. It's uh, girls in Renaissance clo clothing. We've got a book, we've got wide-eyed, we've got kids discovering reading. And I really like the results here. And usually when I try to do things in 10, 1024 by 1024 with stable diffusion 1.5, it just doesn't work at all. Uh, I think here we're doing uh, an, Ellen gr an elegant girl with a bl blurred background. And now she's wearing suede and suede and denim. 
So you can see it, it kind of tried. Here, I think it got the suede. We're supposed to have a plain background, but it didn't quite get that. And then uh, I can't remember what the prompt here was, but yeah, uh, something in robes, white robes, looking angelic. So some of these are, I would say, cherry picked, but um, you can see that we have some problems, usually uh, problems with the face, with the hands, as you normally do with stable diffusion uh, until you fix those things. But you can see, I think a 1024 by 1024 uh, black and gold kimono, uh, three sisters in black and gold kimonos. And this one here, we're still doing stable diffusion 1.5. Um, we were aiming for blue, indigo and red. And it managed to combine those colors in a fairly natural looking way. I really wanted one red kimono, but I didn't get that. But it got the blue, it got the indigo. Pretty impressive. Moving on to SDXL. We have a supermodel in an orange kimono. And it looks good for the most part. And when it comes to the change here, what you're looking at here is a change in the background. I'm saying that I want the wood in the background. I want that to be ebony wood. And it changes the model and it changes the background as well. Blue eye shade. And then we change the eye shade here to gold. So it changed the uh, ornament here to gold, but it didn't really change the eye, eye shadow to gold. Then probably the most challenging one for SDXL was uh, this alien craft. This was inspired by the film, you know, that film with alien craft that just comes out of nowhere. I think it's called Arrival. So we've got a, an alien craft, a mysterious alien craft in a field. And it kind of got a little bit confused with the field and the craft. It sort of mixed them together. And again, it did the same here. So that was basically the results that I got. And I think certainly with the SD 1.5 one, the results were, were much better than I would normally expect with the Stable Diffusion 1.5 without any kind of enlargement, just hitting it as it is. Now, I have to say that it does use quite a lot of memory. And that was one thing which was a slow, that created a bit of a slowdown. But you can choose your own models to combine and it doesn't do any training. It just does it you know, on the fly. So it's a very interesting idea. I'll have a link to the project if you want to try it out. But like I say, it's not in Comfy UI. It's not in uh, Automatic 11.11 as yet anyway. So you'd have to put together your own workspace. I think it's pretty impressive. And I definitely look forward to trying it out a little bit more. Maybe we might see something inspired by this inside of Comfy UI inside of Automatic 11.11. Um, I'll be interested if something does come along.